power play, uh, prelims power play, prelims power play, or prelims power play, prelims power play, prelims 2023, prelims power play, power play, prelims power play, so prelims power play, prelims power play. So we are here to discuss uh, the importance of PYQs. We have already seen a glimpse of uh, that importance of PYQs, that PYQs are precious. In another video uh, titled uh, 11 Mantras or 11 Tips for the 11th Hour. So I'm just here to reiterate the fact and reiterate the importance of uh, previous year questions when it comes to UPC Civil Services examination. So yes. There are four things to be noted when it comes to previous year questions. Four ways in which PYQs can help us. First thing is that uh, PYQs are labs. They are ready laboratories that can help us uh, know how, uh, you know, like no answers to test our knowledge, to see if we can answer such questions that uh, through the means that we have learned. So yes, it acts as a ready uh, laboratory for us to test ourselves and our, our knowledge and all. Yes, that is the first point to be noted with respect to PYQs. And the second point to be noted is, uh, it, it gives us an idea of how to frame questions. How to frame questions in the sense, uh, it, it shows us how UPSC frames questions. So we can also mimic such techniques, mimic such uh, strategies to frame questions while learning. You know, like when, for example, uh, learning a current affair, paid whatever current affair, like uh, <coughs> about World Bank and all, we have already seen questions about world banks in previous year questions. So while studying about world banks, we used to, we can recall such previous year questions and try to form new questions that can be asked. It can also be like a practice for us uh, to, uh, to remember what we have learned. So it gives us the opportunity to frame questions, to understand the techniques and strategies that are being used for framing questions by UPSC. So that is the second point to be noted here. So third, so what is the third most thing is that uh, most of the PYQs, if you see and all, uh, not only with respect to when you when you bring all these compilations and all, there are a lot of compilation, 19 years compilation, 25 years compilation, 22 years compilation and all. When you see, they, they, they mostly give uh, static motions like be it polity, be it modern India, ancient India, geography and all, they used to give economy environment all these static portions they used to give uh, in PYQs so the thing is we have already studied static portions we have already completed environment we have already completed polity we have already completed history so this acts as PYQs acts as a revisioning mechanism it, it can help us it can uh, act as a catalyst in our revision so while uh, not only while uh, while solving PYQs we can easily understand what the concept is and what is the demand of the question and have I learned all the important points with respect to that question. For example, Crips mission. That is one of the most repeated questions with respect to modern India. That thing uh, gets repeated at least every two years, Crips mission, uh, Crips mission, Crips mission as a concept, as a question. So while learning Crips mission, you can recall all these questions. Uh, this will also act as a revisioning for Crips, not only Crips, there is also the cabinet mission, uh, Simon commission, all these things, not only with respect to history, but other sources, other uh, areas of static portions also. Though, so yes, <laughs> PYQs are a very good point, uh, they act as a very good catalyst in revision, in revision uh, for our uh, UPSC prelims, not current affairs, but yes, to a certain extent, static portions also. Yes, this is the third point to be noted here. And the fourth and the most major point, the most critical point that can be noted here is uh, repeat questions. Yes, we cannot expect verbatim questions a lot, but there are a few instances where verbatim questions have been asked. Yes, there are uh, certain instances where verbatim questions can be asked. So yes, every year, at least uh, directly or indirectly, at least 20 to 25 questions can get repeated, have the possibility and probability to be repeated in UPSC civil services examination with respect to prelims. There are also repetitions in mains uh, in certain areas like GS4 and all. Yes, repetitions are there with respect to mains also. But we are keenly focusing here on prelims. There are a lot of expectations. I can cite 
20 to 25 examples from the 2022 paper itself. So in that fashion, I have taken a couple of questions from uh, environment and geography that came in the 2022 paper that have already been appeared in the earlier years, earlier years of prelims. So yes, uh, the first question is with respect to Mashir. So the question goes like this. The thing is, the first question that I am going to dictate here, that I am going to read here is that uh, of the earlier question that was repeated in the 2019 paper. Uh, consider the following pairs, famous place river wildlife naturally found in. Famous place river wildlife, this is a tabular column here, famous places and natural wildlife found. So blue finned mashir, Kaveri river, Irawadi dolphin, Chambal river, rusty spotted cat eastern guards. Which of the pairs given above are correctly matched? Given options are 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only, 1 and 3 only and 1 and 2 only. So this is the question, this is the 2019 question that was asked with respect to wildlife and their habitats. So fast forwarding to the 20, uh, 2022 question with respect to mashir, which of the following is not a bird? A. Golden mashir, B. Indian nightjar, C. Spoonbill, D. White ibis. IBIS, IBIS. So yes, this is the 2022 question. So uh, if we have uh, religiously worked out the 2019 paper, at, at least we have seen what uh, Mashir is, we could have easily answered this 2022 paper also. So there is no direct correlation, there is no verbatim question, but yes, there is a verbatim word that could have been used to answer such questions. So yes, we got the next question in environment. We have uh, nitrogen fixation. So nitrogen fixation is also a uh, very important topic when it comes to environment. And it's a very hot topic, very favorite topic for uh, UPSC also. It has been uh, repeated even very back, day, way old it has been repeated. So yes, the question goes like this. Uh, 1988, this is a 1988 question. This is such a old question uh, that, was, that was recently repeated. So yes, 1988 question goes like this. Acid rain is caused by pollution of environment by option A, carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Option B, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. Option C, ozone and carbon dioxide. Option D, nitrous oxide and sulfur dioxide. So this is the 1988 question. Now fast forwarding to the 2022 question paper. So the question goes like this. Consider the following, carbon monoxide, Nitrogen oxide, ozone, sulfur dioxide. So now the question is, excess of which of the above in the environment is or are causes of acid rain? So the options are 1, 2 and 3, option B, 2 and 4, option C, 4 only, option D, 1, 3 and 4. So if you have worked out the 1988 paper, that the, at least the previous year question paper, we would have easily known that 2 and 4 uh, sulfur nitrous oxides and sulfuric uh, sulfur dioxide is the right answer so this is why this is the importance of uh, previous year questions when it comes to environment section all over it is important but there is uh, keen repetition with respect to environment and all so moving on to the geography section i have also taken two questions from geography which has recently repeated in the 2022 paper so the question goes like this first uh, we'll see the 2009 paper with respect to monozyte, monozyte is there, right? Uh, with respect to monozyte, so 2009 question goes like this. Consider the following statements. India does not have any deposits of thorium. First statement. Second statement. Kerala's monozyte sand contains uranium. Which of the following, which of the statements given above is or are correct? Options are one only, two only, both one and two neither one nor two this is the uh, this is the question with respect to monocyte which came in the 2009 prelims paper so fast forwarding again to the 2022 paper <coughs> we have a similar question not the same question but we have a similar question with respect to monocyte also so with reference to uh, india consider the following statements statement one monocyte is a source of rare earths statement two monocytes contain thorium statement three Monocyte occurs naturally in the entire Indian coastal sands in India. Option 4. In India, government bodies only can process or export monocyte. Which of the statements given above are correct? Option A, 1, 2 and 3. Option B, 1, 2 and 4. Option C, 
3 and 4. Option D, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, this is the monosaic question and already same thing like the earlier question. If the earlier question was practiced, this question would have been easily answered. Monocyte and all that is not something that is frequently in, uh, that is not frequently in use. We used to, we, we have to learn it separately. So, so moving on to the next question, uh, this is with respect to solstice. So, yes, uh, summer solstice. Solstice. The question goes like this. The question was repeated in 2019 and uh, 2022. So, the 2019 question goes like this. On 21st June, <coughs> the sun, this is the question, the options are A, does not set below the horizon at the Arctic Circle. B, does not set below the horizon at Antarctic Circle. C, shines vertically overhead at noon on the equator. D, shines vertically overhead at the Tropic of Capricorn. So, this is the 2019 question. Uh, this could have easily been answered. We all know this. This is some, something that is basic. We all know this is an easy question. But I am saying even basic questions like uh, summer solstice and all get repeated <coughs> every year. At least not every year, but within a gap of two or three years. Yes. Now, the 2022 question. Uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, the longest day of the year normally occurs in the A. First half of the month of June. Second half of the month of June. C. First half of the month of July. D. Second half of the month of July. So, this was the 2022 question. That is also related to summer solstice only. So, this is what such basic concepts, basic questions, basic questions also, they get repeated in a span of 2-3 years. 19 is just 3 years back. It's just 2 years, it's just 4 years back. 19, right? So, yes, 19 is just 4 years back. And within a span of 4 years itself, uh, not a similar question, but something that was indirectly related to the question that was asked in 2019, it can also be witnessed in the 2022 paper. <coughs> so, yes, uh, that is the, that the, I, I hope this this proves, this shows the importance of PYQs. So, yes, and again, I would like to reiterate that PYQs are precious. Please do follow PYQs and uh, let us all hope for the best. Thank you. 